a test plan is often confused with test case suite. To understand the nitty-gritty of a test plan, let's develop a test plan for flight reservation application. In a previous tutorial, we have already informed that there are more than 150 types of testing, and you cannot possibly test your application for all the different types. For the flight reservation application, you might want to test the application to examine how it works when installed on different operating systems. But testing it to check how it works for different browsers does not make sense since it is not a web-based application. Based on this contextual analysis, you can make a list of testing types that are in scope and will be tested, and testing types that are out of scope and will not be executed for flight reservation. Risk could be any future event with a negative consequence. You need to identify the risks associated with your project. Risks are of two types. First, project risks. Example of such risk is senior team member leaving the project abruptly. Every risk is assigned a likelihood, that is chance of it occurring, typically on a scale of 1 to 10. Also the impact of that risk is identified on a scale of 1 to 10. But just identifying the risk is not enough. You need to identify a mitigation. In this case mitigation could be knowledge transfer to other team members and having a buffer tester in place. The second type of risks are product risks. An example of a product risk would be flight reservation system not installing in test environment. Mitigation in this case would be conducting a smoke or sanity testing. Accordingly, you will make changes in your scope items to include sanity testing. This is risk-based strategy of testing. There are many other testing strategies to help you select testing types for your application under test. Most of the times your out-of-scope items will not contain out-of-context testing types. But in-context testing types, excluded due to the test strategy chosen, budget, and timing considerations. So for example, if timing considerations do not permit performance testing, it will move from in-scope to out-of-scope list. That apart, a test plan will contain information about the test estimates, test team, schedule, and so on. A test plan helps monitor the progress of various testing activities and helps take controlling action in case of any deviations from the planned activities. That is a brief overview of how to create a test plan. Below find a sample test plan template for your reference.